Hi, my name's Katie Brimacombe and I studied documentary photography 20 years ago at Newport. I remember that feeling of coming back to Clarence Place with you know, a pocket full of film, processing your film, making your contact sheet and going for your crit and how, what a good feeling it was when you got a box, when you kind of got that recognition that you'd got the shot. It was an amazing training, it was very intense, but it was, you know, I still have those ideas in my head today that I learned in Newport, you know, the five picture theory and how to sort of translate a narrative visually. I remember photographing um, the men on the transporter bridge changing the light bulbs for person at work. That would, that would never be allowed now, would it? Um, hanging around a and &E in Newport thinking I was Eugene Richards. It was, you know, it was an extraordinary time, really. It was very hard work, but really good fun and really productive. And, you know, we shot a lot. And I think that's why we all mastered our craft, because we practiced and practiced and we went back until we got it right. Uh, we had amazing tutors. I'm very grateful to Daniel and Clive and Paul and, of course, David for setting up the course. Um, the course really launched my career. Um, I, I, it was the first year where there was the Tom Hopkinson Award bursary, which I was lucky enough to win, and that gave me sort of guaranteed work at the independent newspaper when I left college. Um, I also started working on big stories when I was at, at, at college, which I managed to sell. So I started my kind of magazine career whilst at Newport. So. You know, it really was a great launch for me. Um, so when I left college, as I say, I was a news photographer. This was the golden era of the independent using great big black and white pictures and the photographs were really valued. And and also there was commissioning a lot of, mag you know, broadsheets were commissioning large features and you could get, you could sell a, a photo essay on spec to Marie Claire or you know, it was it was a good time. There was a lot of work, and I joined network agency um, to syndicate my work. And yeah, it was a, a a very different era, of course, than it is now. But I um I then had quite a long career break, raising a family, and I trained as a psychotherapist, which actually are, are, are very similar skills. You're a witness to somebody's narrative. And of course, as photographers, we spend a lot of time listening to people's stories, getting close to them. So they complement each other well. Um, in recent, in the last sort of 18 months or so, I've got back into photography properly and I've started finding stories again locally. In some ways, I feel like I've come full circle because this is what we did at, at Newport. You know, we'd go out of the college and walk down the street and find a story and, you know, stick with it. And um, I'm interested in sort of social documentary issues, so the kind of stories I'm, I'm working on are very traditional in a way. I've just spent a year documenting the life of a homeless economic migrant man who I found sleeping rough around the corner from me. I did a story on how... Uh, Adults were affected by the social care cuts locally, so all very you know local stuff, very easy for any of us to do. But of course now there's different ways of getting your images out there. Because for me, there's no point taking a picture unless people are going to see it. You know, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to communicate? And now we have these great you know opportunities to show work online, and you know as the editorial market has diminished online. There's, you know, such wonderful opportunities to get our work out there. So this is where I am now, and I do some work with charities on their campaigns, and, yeah, I'm still very passionate about photography. It's a wonderful way, as we know, to get the message across. I've had extraordinary access into people's lives, which has been enriching for me. And, yeah, I'm very grateful to Newport, and the, those two years were pivotal in my life. So here's to the next 100 years of photography at Newport and 
I look forward to seeing everyone in October. All the best. Thanks for listening.